Hello, first grade. We are going to be working on a new phonics skill today, but before we get started, I want to practice our three-part drill. Now, we've been doing this for a couple of weeks now, and I know you're getting really good at it, so let's see if we can move a little bit quicker today. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. C-H says ch. E says e eh and e. S says s. L L says l. I says i and i. Z Z says z. D says d. K says k. N says n. L says l. A says a and a. X says s. F F says f. Q U says qu. P says p. C says k. R says r. J says j, S S says s, P H says f, C K says k, T H says f and f, Z says z, W says w. M says m, W H says w, V says m, U says a and u, G says g, S H says sh, O says a and o. H says h. F says f. N says n. T says t. B says b. And E R says r. This is the one we learned last week, right? Good, I'm glad you remember. Okay, let's move on to the second part of our drill. I will say a sound. You use your finger to write on a piece of furniture or the carpet, the letter or letters that makes those sounds. And I will tell you if you know one or two ways to make those. Ready? Okay, here we go. First sound. B. B says B. Next sound. D. D says D. Next sound, you know two ways for this. F. F says F and F, F says F. Next sound, you know two ways for this sound. Z. Z says Z and Z, C says Z. Sh. S, H says Sh. How about L? You know two ways for this sound. L says L and L L says L. A. A says A. P. P says P. Ch. C H says Ch. All right, let's move on to our next one. Okay, let's move on to our last part of our drill using the blending board. So we'll point to each letter, you'll say the sound, and I'll swipe across and we'll say it together. Ready? Let's go. K A D CAD. And if you want to do the thumbs up for a real word, thumbs down for a make believe word, you can totally do that too. W A D Lad. Ooh. 
blood. 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 Mrs. Ross. Er, off, rough. Ch, off, joff. Ch, ock, jock. Er, mm. Therm. W er im worm. Now this is a tricky one because it sounds like worm, but it's not spelled the right way. So this one is actually thumbs down. V er b verb. Herb, verb. Okay, great job. Let's move on now. Last week we talked about this letter here, the E R, and how it says the er sound. And I told you last week that we are going to learn three ways to make this er sound other than just with the letter R. Last week was E R. This week we're going to work on I R. So I R, when they are stuck together, says er just like er says er when it's stuck together let's look at some words with ir and see what we can find out here's the first one whoops can you see that maybe i'll do this okay first word dirt Er, t, dirt. Is this IR in the middle or at the end of the word? That's right, it's in the middle. Let's see if we can see some more words where IR is in the middle. How about this one? Th, er, d, third. IR is again in the middle. How about Bird, bird. I R again is in the middle, and this one. G, er, ul, girl. I R is in the middle. That's right. Let's take a look at two more. S, er, sir. This time the I R is. At the end, that's right. And one last word. St er stir. Again, IR on this one is at the end. Okay? So IR, just like ER, could be in the middle of a word or at the end of a word, but it's usually in the middle. It's not very common to see IR at the end of a word much more common to see er at the end of a word so this one can be in the middle or the end this one can be in the middle or the end this one's normally at the end this one's normally in the middle here is your challenge for today for today i want you to choose a book that you have at home that you can look through and read and try and find I are words. They might be in the middle, they might be at the end, but I want to see in your book how many I are words you can find. So here's what this can look like. 
you get to choose. You can take a piece of paper and write the title of your book in the middle and then you can write all of the IR words that you can find in that book around it. You could make a pic collage if you like doing that. You could take a picture of your book and put it in the middle and then you could type all of the words that you find with ER all around it. If you have another idea how you want to share that with us, totally okay with that too. Your job though is to find a book that you have at your house and see how many words you can find with I-R in it. Good luck.